Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been actually quite a while since I've done a favorites video here. So the first thing that I have absolutely been loving ever since I got it to my trip to Los Angeles is this Visart palette. Now this is um, the neutral matte palette. So there's 12 eyeshadows in here, all in the matte formulation and I personally love matte eyeshadows. I think they are probably the most versatile because you can use them in the crease, you can use them on the lid, you can use them as a highlight. So I actually tend to use mattes quite a lot and this is such a practical palette because you can take it along everywhere with you. I have been taking it on all my trips when I've gone traveling. This is always in there because it's just so small and convenient. It has everything in there um, from a really light highlighting shade all the way to a matte black. So love, love, love this palette. The quality of these eyeshadows are amazing. Amazing. It's made in France. I start to really look at where makeup is made So it's really important to me to know where stuff is made and this is made in France It's just a really good quality eyeshadow and that's why it's probably more expensive than if you buy sort of cheaper stuff You know made overseas. So this is really awesome and I completely recommend this palette this perfume This is the Thierry Mugler or Thierry Mugler actually actually I think it's I think he's French so um, And this is the angel muse perfume and I love the bottle it has that very very um, sort of alien-esque shape that a lot of his bottles have this very sort of very fluid almost science fiction inspired look this is so intense um, it's supposed to have the scent of hazelnuts in here so it kind of smells sweet and rich and nutty um, the hazelnut definitely gives it a very nice richness um, it's still sweet but it's not cloyingly sweet like it's not fruity sweet you know what I mean it smells almost like caramel hazelnuts or something to me and every time I wear this perfume people ask me what I'm wearing so I think it just re works really well with my chemistry and what I found with his perfumes um, is that they last so so good like even at the end of the day if I spray this on in the morning I will still have that scent on me in the evening so his perfumes are of really good quality okay next up I actually have a powder now this is a powder that's been talked about also a lot on YouTube it kind of got hyped up by the way this is the RCMA um, no color powder um, so this is a professional makeup product it doesn't contain any um, colorants to it so really anyone with any skin type can use this and all it contains is talc and silica and what this is perfect for is just setting makeup so this isn't going to give you any kind of coverage whatsoever it really is just to set the makeup and to really dry it down that's the only job it's supposed to do and it does that job so perfectly I bought this in LA at um, a beauty supply store because I had a similar powder like this by Ben Nye it was the Ben Nye neutral set and I'd actually lost that powder there was still quite a lot left so it had that same kind of property only this one I feel is much more finely milled. It's a little bit nicer texture than the Ben Nye. It comes in like a shaker format, almost like a seasoning kind of thing. So you have to like dump it out. You could put it into a sifter. I personally don't mind it like this. I usually tend to just get a little bit into the palm of my hand and then just use my brush and dunk it into the palm of my hand. So I personally don't find this um, annoying. I actually find it very uh, clean. It's really, really inexpensive. I think, yeah, it has, this one was $12 and this is three ounces. Ounces. So there's a ton of powder in here and this is just an amazing makeup setter and I've also been using it for baking like sometimes I bake um, the concealer under my eye I actually did that today and it's just wonderful It's mattifying and it doesn't have any flashback next up I have this product by Clinique and this is the take the day off cleansing balm um, It looks like this big sort of body butter like a body cream and you just scoop some out and then just put it all over your face um, when you have completely dry skin. So you don't have to wet your skin or anything beforehand. You put it onto dry skin and then you just massage it everywhere and all your makeup just dissolves. Even, you know, really heavy duty concealers and waterproof eye makeup or whatever you're using, um, this will really dissolve it and then you can go in with some water and rinse it and it rinses off really clean. So I like to do this for double cleansing. I will use this to remove my makeup and then I will use a cleanser and cleanse my skin after. But um, for removing any kind of makeup. This does an awesome job and it's not irritating at all. You know, I can get it right around my eyes. It doesn't burn or sting. It doesn't contain any fragrance. Next, I've got a couple of hair products that I wanted to rave about. I don't really tend to use a ton of different hair products. Usually, um, you know, if I'm not going out or if I'm not filming a video, I tend to air dry my hair and not do anything with it just to give it a rest and to not damage it too much. But you know, when I'm filming a video,
video or if I'm going out somewhere like nice, you know, I want to style my hair. So I've been really using two of these products. One is the Sebastian Professional Molding Mud. Now Sebastian is a pro line and this is basically like this sort of fibrous pomade. It's a very, very thick, rich pomade. So you only need a tiny amount like this jar. Um, this is 2.6 ounces. This will last me a really long time because you only need a tiny bit. You get a little bit out and then you just like emulsify it in your hair and then you can like scrunch it through your hair. So what I like to do is um, curl my hair. If I'm styling it, I use a curling iron to put some curls in it and then I want to texturize. So I use this to kind of texturize my curls. This is such a good bargain buy, and this is by Schwarzkopf. This is the got to be made for mess texturizing hairspray. Now I don't wear hairspray like every time I style my hair, but if I'm going out and I know that my hair has to look good for a long amount of time, then I do like to finish off with a hairspray. And this one is so different than most hairsprays because it adds a ton of texture. You can just like spray it. Like you see how it's already made like texture throughout. You can even scrunch it if you want. So yeah, this stuff gives you just a ton of volume, a lot of texture and you know, drugstore prices. So a really good bargain purchase. I also wanted to mention a couple lifestyle favorites this month and one is a TV show called Westworld. I'm pretty sure it's an HBO show. It's kind of science fiction mixed with Western. It's a really interesting combination of sci-fi Western and it's basically, yeah, set in the future and it's about this amusement park called Westworld, which is basically this um, simulation game where all the clients can go into this world where it looks like the old wild west in, you know, in America. like in the Wild West, you know, way back when. The characters in the game are basically artificial intelligence robots. Like they look so human, you can't tell the difference between them and a, and a real human being. So they look extremely realistic, but they're artificial, artificial intelligence. The show starts to get a little bit creepy because the AI, like the artificial intelligence, like these, they call them hosts, they start to, or they're starting to gain consciousness. So they're not just, you know, programmed robots. They're actually starting to have a sense of self and some really creepy stuff is starting to happen. And it's just a really interesting mix um, of this sort of Western old fashioned world, but then mixed with like super futuristic, like artificial intelligence. So it's a really interesting combination. And my last favorite is actually a musician. Now, I don't know if this music is really going to appeal to a lot of people. I don't really listen to mainstream pop music. So um, this artist. He's called Khan. Well, I know he's from the Great Britain. I don't know if he's from Bristol. He is a dubstep producer. A lot of people I think nowadays know dubstep because they know like Skrillex and these huge like music, electronic music festivals. But um, originally dubstep started out much smaller and was kind of more underground. And this artist Khan, he's definitely sort of more of an underground dubstep producer um, who makes very, very ethereal and very sort of almost like hypnotic uh, dubstep and it's just really cool music. I ended up um, buying a lot of his individual tracks on Juno Records and everything that I listened to him has been so amazing. Um, I have actually compiled a lot of his music into a running uh, playlist and that's what I've been listening to when I've been going running because it's very hypnotic so it kind of gets you in this like weird zone and I absolutely love this kind of music. So as always I'll put links to everything in the information bar. You can check that out and if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel um, and also I'll have two videos linked below right now that you can check out that might appeal to you if you like this one so thank you so much for watching I will see you soon bye everyone